Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about notification API of web extension API suit. Notification API is used to generate desktop notifications such as mail notifications, reminders, etc. Um, this is pretty useful if you want to throw alerts to user in your add-on. So let's get started. So as usual we will create our folder first. So let's name it notification and then we'll be creating our very first file as usual manifest.json let's save it in our folder and let's start making our manifest.json so as usual the first thing is manifest version and by default as we remember it's always 2 then first name of our add-on let's say um, notification example a quick description let's say demonstrate usage of notification API then version of our add-on let's go for 1.0 oh we forgot a okay okay now we need to in order to need uh, access our notification of the browser we have to permit our ask permissions for for notifications that's pretty much our manifest.json and we have to put an icon So for sake of simplicity, I'll just use um, 64px icon. And let's say it's icon.png. Cool, this is all we need for our uh, manifest.json to allow uh, notification in our browser. This is manifest version. Um, this tells that um, we'll be using the web extensions API. This is the name of our add-on. This is the description of our add-on. This is a version of our add-on. These are the icons which will be shown in the listing. And this is a permission which we need for this specific add-on. To uh, enable notification, we need notifications permission. So this is all about manifest.json. And let's create a background file which will generate a notification. So in order to use background file, we have to mention here that we'll be using background file. In background we'll do as we know that we have to mention scripts and we remember that we have to pass an array instead of just a file and let's name it background.js let's quickly create background.js and save it in the same location background.js and to create first we'll just save it so create a notification it's a pretty easy task what we have to do is um, use the notification API of the browser and tell it notifications it's plural and tell it to create a notification that's it um, it accepts few um, parameters as an object so first is type type of notification so for now the broadly supported type is basic we have several other types uh, on based on priority but right now this is um, what we say is acceptable and supported by all the browsers so we'll stick to this type and then we have to pass icon URL let's say if we want to pass any icon into it and let's say we'll just go with icon.png so for sake of this example I'm using the same icon you can use different for let's say listing icon is different the icons which will be di displayed on the uh, notification that will be different so let's stick to this for time being now there are two things which are important first thing is title what's the title of your uh, notification let's say my notification and other thing which we need is message 
So basically this is the content of the notification what you want to display. So let's say my first notification to user. That's all you need to do to create a notification. So we use the notifications API of the browser and we use the create function. We pass few parameters such as type which tells the basic type and then icon URL which will display the if this is this is not mandatory if you want you cannot uh, you can just remove this there will be no icon this is title the title which will be displayed on the notification and this is a message the body of the notification so that's pretty much how you create your notification so as usual let's try how to run it let's go to about debugging this is our testing URL and here we can load our temporary URL and let's load it and here is our first notification this is the title my notification and this is the body of the notification but we didn't see any image here because um, we didn't put any image in our folder so I've copied an image I'll just put it in our folder it's named bell.png so we need to make few change here so at first here bell.png and then here to bell.png let's retry let's reload our extension so here you go this is the icon which was I was talking about title and the message so that's your first notification so um, practically it is of no use because whenever you install the add-on only one time you will get the notification so let's tie it um, let's have a button in the toolbar and on click of that button let's go for the notification so for that I will first include a browser uh, action so I'll quickly do that browser action and those of who uh, those of you who don't know what browser action is um, there there's another video which is made by my friend Vish uh, Vishwa Prasad I'll attach the link uh, in this video description there you can actually see how the browser action works and in nutshell I will tell you browser action is basically just a button here which uh, has its own property for this specific example we'll just create a button on click of that we will get a notification so browser action accepts um, few of uh, let's say properties at first is default icon and I will put again let's say um, just I'm giving 64 and I say bell.png so important thing to note here is like every path is relative so I'm not using anything before it because everything I'm putting it in the same folder let's say we put it um, in icons and then bell.png so it will be changing to icon slash bell.png here fine so we have created a browser action which will have be having a default icon that will be bell.png so one thing more we can add to it is um, let's say default title default title is basically um, the tooltip what what will be displayed when we hover over the button so let's say my notification now in background.js what we have to do is um, again we will be using browser and browser action of the API of the browser and we are telling that um, on click of the button add a listener and let's say handle click so we will create a handle click function and in that handle click function what we will do is just create this notification so I'll copy paste here that's it so what we are doing I'll quickly rewind it in manifest.json we added a browser action which has a image and a title my notification and in background.js what I did I provided an action when uh, at uh, provided an action handle click which creates a notification and added that on click event of the browser action so that's pretty much uh, for the around so let's see how does that impact so here we can see our browser action this button on hover of it I get my notification and when I click it 
I get a notification. So that's pretty much for this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we learned how to create a notification and how to bind that notification on click of a browser action button. So that's all from my side for this video. If you have any doubts, any suggestions, please feel free to mention that in the comments. And I will attach the link to this tutorial uh, in the comment, in the description. Thank you.